Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding some collectibles to our platformer and you'll have to get four of these energy cells. And when you get all four, the portal will open. And if you touch the portal, it'll take you to the next level. All right, let's jump right in and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to change out the art for the portal. Now I've already gone ahead and imported a new portal sprite that I replaced the old one with. And I've also imported an energy cell sprite that I made. Getting back to the portal, I've already changed the sprite to be this, and what it is is it's now two portals. There's a closed version and an open version, and we're just going to be using the region property here on the sprite 2D of our area exit scene. So I'm going to enable region, and I'm going to go into edit region. And in here, uh, I want to make sure we're on grid snap. That'll make it easier. I'm going to make the step 22 because that's how big the portal sprite is. And then I'm going to just choose one of them. In this case, let's choose the closed one. It doesn't really matter. We'll be changing these via script in a second here. So let's we'll close that and now it's only showing one of them. And now if we were to move the X value to 22, see it shows the other one. So this is how we're gonna be changing what state the portal is in, in the sprites. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the portal script here, the area exit script, and we're going to add quite a bit of functionality here. First of all, I'm going to call it class name area exit so we can more easily access this from other places. And I'm going to have a export variable for the sprite, which will be a sprite 2D. And we're going to have another variable that will be a boolean called is open and we'll initiate it as false. We're going to add a ready function where we will be in a second here, we'll be closing the portal because we don't want it open at the beginning of the scene. And let's have another function here called open, which will do stuff. And let's just be consistent with our spacing here. There we go. All right, another function. This will be close. And let's start by working on the close function. The close function is of course going to be in charge of closing the portal. And I want it to run when the scene is ready. So we're going to put it up right here. The way we're going to do this is we're going to say is open equal to false. And we're also going to change the sprite. Sprite region rect because we're just accessing the region, the region position specifically in the X value. And we want it to be at zero. Portal open is going to be almost exactly the same. So we're just going to copy paste this part of the code and change a few variables. The difference is that it is going to be is open equals to true and the X position is going to be 22. So that should be good. Now on body entered here, what we want to do is not just check that the body is the player controller, but also we need another condition, which is, is the portal open? So if the portal is open and the body is the player controller, then the game manager can load the next level. So we're going to save this and we need to make sure we plug in the sprite variable here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into 2D here. I'm going to take the sprite 2D and I'm actually going to put it on 22 here just so we can see that it's working. So that's the open position of the portal. If we hit play, since close is getting called in the ready function, the portal should be closed. You can see that. It does have the closed sprite and the player cannot go through it. So that's exactly what we want right now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the energy cell scene, and that'll be the pickup that when the player gets enough of them, it will open up the portal to the next level. So we'll create a new scene and go to other node. This will be an area 2D. Create, and we're going to need a few things here. At a child node, we're going to need a sprite and we're going to need a collision shape 2D. And the shape 
is going to be a rectangle. There we go. All right. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and save the scene. And let's see, we're going to put it into the scenes folder. And we're going to call it energy cell. There we go. Save. I'm going to go into the sprites and change out the texture for one of the ones we imported here, which is the energy cell texture. And there it is. And we're just going to resize the collision shape. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger than the sprite, just so that the player can grab it a little bit more easily. And I'm going to rename the area 2D node into energy cell. And then after renaming, we're just going to save the scene. Okay, now we're going to add a new script for the energy cell. So we're just going to come up here and attach a script to the energy cell. And we're going to call it energy cells, but we want it to be in the scripts folder. There we go. And it's going to inherit from area 2D. That's fine. And I'm actually not going to put anything in the script right now. I'm just going to click on uh, the energy cell, the area 2D node. And then I'm going to go to node and signals. And then we're going to go into the body entered signal. And I'm going to right click and hit connect. We want to connect it to that same script we just made on body entered is fine. Connect. And here we go. There's our script. And I'm just going to add a little bit of functionality here because what we want is when the player touches this energy cell, we want the player to pick it up. So if the body entered is the player controller, much like with the area exits, then what we want to do is pick up energy cell and then we're going to call Q free to remove the energy cell from the scene. Now we don't have a real method to pick up the energy cells yet. We're going to add that to our game manager in a minute, but this is more or less the functionality we're going to want. Okay, so let's test out these energy cells. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the area template scene and I'm going to put the energy cells in the template because every area that we make is going to have these cells that you need to collect in order to open up the next portal. So here in the area template, I'm going to create a new node 2D. And this will just be a container to keep the energy cells in. We're just going to call it energy cells. And now we want to link a few of these energy cell child scenes. So let's see, it's down here and we'll do four. So then the player will collect four energy cells and then the portal will open to the next scene. So let's just rename this one to one. And again, we want this in every scene, so that's why we're adding it to the template. I'm just going to move them out of the way here so that they're not right on top of the player by default. And we'll just put them like this. Again, this is just a template just to keep things a little organized. Save the template. Now, if we open up area one, there they are. So now we should be able to move these around in the different areas or levels and position them how we want. So the first energy cell can stay right there. The second one we'll put like over here. It doesn't really matter. We're not really building a sophisticated level or anything right now. We're just trying to put these around to make sure that they're working. So let's go ahead and save. And let's run this. Okay. So now, right now, the portal won't open if I get them all, but you can see if I touch them, they disappear. So that's exactly what we want. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to open up the game manager script and we're going to do some editing here. Firstly, we're going to add a variable for energy cells. The game manager is the one that's going to be keeping track of how many energy cells the player has. So we're going to start it with zero. We're going to create a ready function that will reset the energy cells. But before we do that, I'm going to create a, another function down here called reset energy cells. 
And this function is going to take the energy cells variable and set it to zero. And we'll be calling this function in the ready function. So when we first run the game, but also we'll be calling it whenever we change levels. We're also going to add a function called setup area. We're not going to worry about calling this function just yet. A little bit later in the video, we'll be calling this function and it will be making sure that the energy cells get reset. We're going to add another function down here. This one will be called add energy cell. And this function will get called every time that you pick up an energy cell. So we'll take the energy cell variable plus equals one. So whatever the variable was, we're going to add one to it. And then if energy cells is greater than or equal to four, then we want the portal to open. But we don't have access to it yet, so we're just going to write a little note here. And that should do for this. I'm just going to add a pass in the if statement so that we're not getting any errors. And then we're just going to save it. The next thing we want to do is we want to be able to get access to the portal here in the game manager. The way we're going to do that is using groups. So we're going to go into the area exit scene. And here we're going to click on the area exit main node and go into groups. And we're going to do a new group here called area exits. And we'll hit add. And now if we go into here, we can see the node is in the group. Now we're going to save the scene and then we're going to go back to game manager. And now we'll put in a new line here, var portal equal get tree dot get first node in group because there's only ever going to be one area exit at a time. And we just got to make sure that it's typed out exactly the same as it is here because it is a string reference. Area exits. There we go. And I'm also going to add at the end of this line as area exit. And there's our reference to our portal. So now we should be able to go down here and say portal dot open. So when we have four energy cells that should open the portal, we don't need this pass anymore. Now, before this actually works, we need the energy cells to call the add energy cell function. So we'll go back to the energy cell script. And here where it says pick up energy cell, we're just going to replace that with a game manager call dot add energy cell. There it is. So every time the player touches an energy cell, they'll get added to the game manager and then remove themselves from the scene. And then when the game manager adds these, it'll check if there's four, it'll look for the area exit and open it. Now, if you did want to have more than one area exit in your level, instead of get first node in group, you could use get nodes in group and then you'll get an array of them. And you could just loop between them and open each one of those up. But we're going to leave this like this for now. And I think we're ready to try this out. OK, so we just got to get all four energy cells and then this should open. There you go. And if I go through here, it works. It takes me to area two, which has not had its energy cells sort of configured. But if I get all four of them, that's open. And as we know, there's no area three to go to. And actually, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into area two and we're going to move these cells around because I actually don't think it's working in area two because we're never actually resetting the cell count in the game manager. So I'm going to make some of these cells be missable and because I think the portal will still be open after we complete area one since we're never resetting the cell count. So let's hit play. We'll go through area one, which portal is closed and now it's open. Go to area two. I'm only going to get one cell and you can see, or two eh, on accident, but you can see it's still open. So what we need to do is we need to reset the cell count before we start playing in area two. And this is a super simple fix. We're just going to go into the key manager script and we just need to call this method when we finish loading the other area. There we go. 
We save that. It should be working now. Let's try it out. So area one is closed, four cells, and it's open. Area two is closed, doesn't work. And then we'll get the fourth cell and it's open. We still can't go to area three, but now it's working as expected. And that about wraps it up for this video. So now we can collect energy cells to move from one level to another, gives our game a little bit more purpose. And I'm pretty happy with this. I want to give a special thanks to my Patreons. And if you would like to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon or my coffee link down in the description. And also thanks to everyone who's watching these videos. And if you hit the like button, that also helps me a lot. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to see something in particular next. And as always, thanks for watching.